Okay, it's Roger once again. I was going to start, I was going to end up with showing the DNA reports of the mud fossils that I am going to be presenting. And um, there's three different specimens I sent out for analysis. One was a lung of a person about our size, and it came back human. They all came back human. And then there was two other things that were from giants, and they were huge giants. 36 inch tip was a fingertip 36 inches long, three feet, uh, 30 inches wide. Another was from a mud, I called it a mud tip. That's the one I'm going to be showing you in a minute. Out of the, I have the hand and the fingers and all, a bunch of it. And the rest of it's out there. I found, found, uh, I find it all the time. It's right on the surface, not deep. Now, uh, and I've got other bones that I know are under there. I started digging them out and I couldn't get them out. They're just too big. I left them there and now skunks live there. Now, what the hell is this? It happens all the time. Not responding. I was told today by <clears throat> my email provider that I should no longer send emails to anyone that doesn't want to communicate with me. I'm being reported as spam. <clears throat> now, which you know, I'm trying to send to people to, to get them to understand what's going on here and they don't want to know. So, this is bacterial DNA analysis, gene clean kits, ancient protocols, the whole nine yards, PCR, you know, everything. And they all came up with positive results for human mitochondrial DNA. And that's all we tested for. It. Homo sapien, cytochrome B, and mitochondrial D. And that, that, that just tells a story. They're human. Now, they're giants, but they have D human DNA. And this is no joke test. This was done by a certified lab. I sent them the stuff. I harvested the stuff. I know where to get it out of. I got a lot of arterial supplies. He even said these things came through with kind of dense DNA for what they consider ancient DNA. Well, I knew where to take it from. I didn't swab anything. I took it right out of the arterial blood supply. And there's plenty of arterial blood to go around. All right, so let's take a look at things. All right, now this was about eight years ago. That's a picture from the palm of the hand. I have the finger. Um, well, this is a bone ball. You see, that's the bone ball. That's the actual tendon that runs out. And there's one of the tendons uh, with an abrupt transition. That's the muscle fabric that coats the bone ball. See, here's a ball on the other side, highly eroded. This had had an extremely eroded place, and then it had extremely perfect place. Um, and one of these, hold on. One of the, this fingertip here, if you can see there's bone black, that bone silhouette there, that's the silhouette of a distal phalanges fingertip. Vein, artery, arteries blow out, veins don't, but you get that angle. You see that little angle? See? Now, this is a, a, a perfect fingertip from the same hand. You know, one of them was low and one of them was high, like, you know, that type of thing. And, uh, and this was not deep. This was right on the surface, basically. Well, not exactly on the surface. It was, it popped up when they excavated for a uh, little addition, but it's not deep. And I am finding parts right on the surface from this. I just found a couple of weeks ago uh, a giant toe. I have it over here. I'm not going to bother showing this. I have all these things. I know what they are. And, uh, and this is 36 inches wide. Now, that is a left palm, and it's only up to here. All right, right here it breaks off. So you, these upper bones and the fingertips are gone. Well, I have some of them, but they're not on this. This is the structural part of the lower part of the, right up to here. And uh, if you look at it close, you can tell it's, uh, it's no question. That's the, the ligament or uh, tendon that runs right down here. That's the pad of your hand. It looks like somebody pasted it on there, but it's not. It's what it was. This is the. It's a different type of material that is your palm, you know, your puffy part there. 
and then this is the grip skin, the silvery part. It's, it's very, very dense in silicon, and I believe there's a lot of iridium in there too, which is the, what I think accounts for some other things that have been claimed in, in, in the past. I, things are not what we were told. So I'm going to leave it at this. All right? I love you all. Mud Fossil University, please pay attention to this, because this is not just the wow factor. Okay, my friends, I'm going to make this very short. This is a giant toe, and I can prove this without a shadow of a doubt. That is where the fingernail was, and it's sort of destroyed now. If, and it's a giant big toe, and that is the guy's callus right there. Now, it's all wet. I soaked it down because you can see it better now. You see, that's the callus. And that's what it looks like. Now, this here, you see this black strip and all that white fabric in there? See all the white fabric? Let's see if you can see. Alright, that is, uh, that's grip skin fabric. Uh, and that's the calcified pad on the rear of the guy's toe. And there's a calcified pad up here. Now, back out of here. Right, and I have all kinds of new species. Uh, this new species is called the no toes. There's toes in there, but they're inside. And everything here is, you know, it's DNA certified in the whole nine yards. All right. But anyway, this is the toe. Now, here's the cool part. This is the grip skin stuff. You see this pad right here? This strip runs up from here all the way down. Now watch. And it runs across the back. You see that strap? That's a literal strap. Coming from there, if you can see it, and you should be able to, just like this, it runs over the top. You see it? And right up over there, and the straps right across where the toenail is. So again, ooh, there's the callus. I mean, that's a serious callus. All right, now, can I show you any other ones that are similar to this? And yes, I can. Only it's going to be a lot smaller. Oh, oof. I have them a lot bigger too, but I cannot show those to you now. This is also identical <laughs> to what we just saw. Now look, there's the callus. <laughs> now, if you get it in the right light, you can see that. Uh, let's see. You can see that strip coming down here. You see that? That is the same strip that ran right uh, next to this callus on the other one and right over uh, over the top and up onto here. You see it? That's another toe. Now, I think this one here is a, a small toe and that's the callus on the little toe. I'm not sure. It's a little distorted, but the other one is virtually still intact. And I have, and I have fingertips that are intact. And this has been DNA certified. I mean, it's virtually intact. It's intact. In the CAT scan, you can see exactly where the nail bed was. You can see where the, you know, this, this is like the calcified pad on the bottom of this one. It has the grip skin under here. It, there's nothing here that's a, a mystery. The mystery is why I want anybody to look at it. I've got geese and ducks and everything else. You see the feather pattern there? It's not a rock. New species. I have a friend that has a, a village of these. Dozens. I mean, I, I, well, I don't know dozens, but she's got a ton of them. And they're in all stages of degradation, and they're obviously what they are. There's no question what they are. And this here's the thing: how I got into this tunica stuff. You see this? That's tunica. You see that straight that angle right there? 
That's literally a fabric. That's a bone. It's the head of a bone. That's where the ligament attaches. Another bone would hook onto there and they could jiggle around, but they'd be held together. That's a cartilage. And bone foramen of, you know, the uh, inside of bone turns to hydrocarbons. This, and the fabric, is the same tunica fabric as all of them. And it's like this here, only not quite so pronounced. This is what all fascia is. All fabric is like that in your body. It's black and red and, and white little flakes and fabrics and all glued together. And that's what keeps everything separated in your body. All right, so I think I've shown you, and I have the DNA sort of, well, I'll just show you that, and that's the end of it.